you smell me, baby. I got all of them. Hello and God bless you. Welcome to the Prophetic Voice Broadcast. This is Prophet Tracy Allen Cut saying, today is the day of miracles. Why? Because God specializes in miracles. Luke chapter 137 says, nothing is impossible with God. What do you believe in God for today? What do you want God to do in your life? Well, you're going to see in the services, just in a few seconds as we go there, you're going to see and hear of the message that can transform your life. And I believe you're going to be blessed by it, encouraged by it. And then I'll be back to tell you about our love gift of the month of August. Also to tell you the upcoming announcements. So let's go into the service already in progress. Let's go now. Why don't you stand up here, darling? Let's stand right up here. Right here where my hand is. God's giving you a miracle. That's true, ain't it? You've had that for several months now and it's brought a pain right here and it's called stiffness in this arm isn't that right yes. we haven't talked you're healed in the name of Jesus just thank you Jesus oh. if we don't get to the message is alright the message is already here the preacher's already here hope hope your name is hope I was over there and the Lord said tell hope hope getting a miracle she don't have to hope anymore I'm gonna do it for hope that's an A-R-C-Y What's your last name? How you say it? D-R-C You got a D in the middle and then it has a common And then it has an A-R-C-Y Yes Is that correct? Correct Somebody help me, I'm falling And I can't get up Help me For the last six weeks has been a time of heartaches and troubles And the enemy has desired to even steal your very essence of your joy and your happiness But I'm going to bring you to a place of healing, saith the Lord For yea, I've seen thy tears and even upon thy thoughts upon thy pillow And you're going to enter into a new season even in the next 16 days And I'm bringing healing into your Lord abdoms as well, saith the Lord for I curse the root of this I move it now saith the Lord and I'm going to make you whole for even now oh I feel the American working of Jesus get ready for you there's a, a judge McCain I'm walking through this courtroom and God said the attack is over you come out of a house that has a last ditch it has a seven and God said Get, that is true ain't it we haven't talked have we darling that's your miracle Jesus I feel it right you get ready to get good news there's some money owed to you the one that tried to work evil against you God said to tell you he's breaking the curse of witchcraft that fought against you even a lip notes that God is moving Oh my God. Are you ready, darling? Just soon obey the Lord. Is that all? Start praising. Oh, what's the matter with Jesus? He's all right. Jesus is all right now. For even the days from your mother's womb, I've called thee and predestined thee for greatness. For the enemy had desired to steal your mind and the very peace that you have. And you in this valley of decision, it seemeth though that you've been entrapped by the snare of the enemy. But my son, I say unto you that a change is coming in two months. From this day forward, I'm going to give you favor with a gentleman by the name of Derek. And you're going to know that it's I who have set you up for this appointed season, appointed time.
For I place my hand upon you, son, and upon you, daughter, and I put my ministry upon you, and upon your lips, I'll create words out of you. You'll be like a trumpet and a voice of the sound, the alarm. No longer shall your head be upon the pillow, and tears do swamp upon your eyes. For I shall dry the tears in your eyes, daughter, and that that you have lost is lost, but that that shall come to you shall be greater. Count it not strange the test that you have come through. For even now do I give you a word of hope and word of the promise that in the next six weeks you shall stand before an open heaven and open door and I shall close the mouth of the enemy and I shall place my hands upon you and you shall know that I am the healer even upon your broken spirit and broken heart saith the Lord well I feel the anointing of miracles I'm going to count the three you ready darling one because God's healing your female ovaries you got pain around your female ovaries area how long you been having it many years it's gone now one two three Jesus got something to tell you man of God we haven't talked you just told me he's going to be here that was it but you didn't tell me nothing else because I said I had a dream of him Somebody, that name is like an N-I-D-A. That's his wife. Nia. We haven't talked. Because I was walking through Pakistan, but I was walking through a place called, if I pronounce it right, because this is what I saw in my dream. And I saw where God's going to cause you to reach an unprecedented move of God there. And God's giving you the country. And in my dream, I walked to a place. I've never been there. But the place was L-A-H-O-R-E. Lahore. And I looked at, that's where he was? That's where he lives. What God told me to tell you, when you go back, won't you come up here? Help me out, brother. Put it on their shoulders. Put it around their shoulders. I'm nothing, Lord. You ever think. For I call you to be an apostle to the nations. And though as season seems like the enemy has taken the territory, but I'm going to move in the government. I'm going to bring a shift in the government. I'm going to move upon the president, and I'm going to move upon that country. For I've given you the soul like unto David, and you're going to cut off the heads of the Goliath that stands before you in that country. For this day do I give you victory, saith the Lord. And I say unto you, you shall have the strength like Elijah, the humility of Stephen, but I shall give you the boldness that you have not had thus far. For you have come to me with your open heart, saith the Lord, and I'm giving you a new heart as well. For the enemy had desired you to have a heart attack and a stroke, but I will renew your youth, saith the Lord. For I say this is a day of glad tidings and glad worth, and I shall open up your country. And from this day in 12 months, you shall reap a harvest that you have not seen in the last 24 months. And I shall heal and become the repair of the breach. For now do I place my hands on you, saith the Lord, and you shall go in my might and my strength, and I shall do this for you. For I've shifted the guards, and I'm moving the hypocrisy out of government. And I heard the cries of the children. I've heard the cries of the babies. I've heard the cries of the youth. And I've heard the cries of the old. And now shall I say unto thee, you shall surely know it's a sure word of prophecy. For on this night do the angel come to you, saith the Lord. Whew. We love. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I look through that lens of that camera. God has a miracle with your name on it. 
Somebody's coming out of 1036. 1036. That's a breakthrough. That's a miracle that God's about to do. And Philip, life. Somebody said. Welcome back. I'm so sorry I had to interrupt you. I know you have been encouraged by that message. You heard the prophetic voice of the Lord, the prophetic word. And there as you would listen to that message, you know, the word of God said faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. But I want to stop and give you our free love gift of the month for August. It's a bookmarker you put in your Bible as a Kush Revival's logo and my most favorite scripture. I've been asked so many times, what is your favorite scripture? Well, you get to know it by writing or calling in for that free love gift of the month for August. It's my way of saying thank you for partnering with us. Help me carry the message of Jesus Christ on networks like this around the world because it's a great cost to be able to do so. So thank you for partnering with us. Again, it's my way of saying thank you for allowing us to be partners together around the world, carrying the message of Jesus Christ that he's not done healing the nation, Revelation 22 and 2. So also to let you know, anytime you want to, you can call that number at the bottom of the screen and somebody will be standing by praying with you and praying for you and believing God for your miracle. Let's go back into the service and let's watch your words of knowledge and prophecy. And let's hear a talking God with a talking book. And then I'll be back to pray with you and believe God for your miracle. Josh, right? We haven't talked, have we? You haven't wrote me no letter. Nobody's come up to ask you anything. Why don't you stand up because God's going to touch Courtney. Where's Courtney at? Do you know Courtney? That's your wife. Of course it is. God's getting ready to reward your faithfulness. Wow, man, I'm getting names after names. Everybody just lift your hands and start. Get your eyes off the man and get your eyes on the Lord. He's getting ready to heal. Somebody's getting healed of cancer. That's a tumor that's been dissolved right now. That's breast cancer. God's going to remove that breast cancer right now. I know you're here because I can fill in. I want you to run down here. That's breast cancer. That's a knot. That's a knot in the chest area. I ain't found you yet, but hold on. I know you're here. Is that you? That's you. No. Oh. Your, your name is Nia. Okay. Oh. Nia. 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 Okay. Hold on. Somebody's getting healed around right the left side of your breast. That's a tumor. That's a nodule that's been dissolved. I can see it. We haven't talked. Yeah, MC. Last name starts with the M. MCC. Like an E or something. How you pronounce your last name? McEwen. McEwen. That's true, right? Last name starts with the M. Because I'm just following the word of knowledge. I can people say, How do you see it? I I see. I don't know how to say it, I just see it. You're getting ready to come to a place of a breakthrough. Because of faithfulness, you guys have been so faithful. But it seems like being in the middle of being faithful seemed like the enemy just held up so many breakthroughs. And the seasons get ready to shift now. When I lay my hands on you, shifting into it. And you'll start seeing the next 36 hours how quickly it's going to come to pass. Why don't you just move your neck? Just move your neck. That's true, ain't it? It's true, ain't it? You didn't tell me that, did you? The regular heartbeat. God's bringing your heart back to a place. Because it's been a irregular heartbeat you've been having problems. Because it speeds up than normal. And God's bringing it back. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say breakthrough. I feel the anointing of God. 
Do you know them? They work with you. Oh, y'all the one that's going to be ordained. But my God. God knows, don't he? That's powerful, man. Donna, stand up, darling. Come on up here. God's got a miracle with your name on it. I'm so honored to have her here. Sid Roth, she has a beautiful spirit. I mean, powerful. Softly, guys. I want her to hear every word of prophecy. For the last 12 years, has been a year of making a decision to bring you to the pinnacle of your greatest breakthrough. And I found you not in a warning place, but I found you in a place that pleased at me. For even though the last 12 years has been a testing time for you, and you even walked through the valley of grief and sorrow, I've healed your heart and I've healed your memory, and I shall use you, and your voice shall sound even in the White House. For the babies cried from the earth, the wailing from them saith the Lord. For the welling of your soul, for the babies have been ripped and torn apart. For I have spared a Samuel generation because of your voice. And I will make your name synonymous upon this earth. And they will see your face upon television. They will hear your voice through radio. For I have given you a new beginning, saith the Lord. And I'm healing even your body. For you have not seen anything, for you have watered the hands of one that I have prepared to be the network to the land. You have been steadfast in your faith and unwavering who I am in your life. And now my promise is yes and amen. For I bring healing which is the children's bread unto thee. Matthew. Keep getting the name Matthew. That's your son. I'm going to let you enjoy the presence of the Lord. i got something to tell you. Hallelujah. For now, I shall go before you, making every crooked path straight, saith the Lord. And even on your side, I'm healing. And though you have gone through financial stress and financial struggles, in 10 months, I'm ending that struggle from this day in. And I'm going to cause you to step on a place you have not been. I'm going to give you a home. I'm going to give you a place that you're going to call the heavens of God's glory. You shall become a habitation of me, saith the Lord. For I heard the wailing of Hannah. And I break the Hannah's curse. God said, I break the Hannah's curse. And God said, get ready. Because now the ladder shall be greater than the former. I'm giving you your identity back. I'm giving your self-esteem back. And I shall bring you to a prompt place of favor. For now shall I heal thee, saith the Lord. Even the bottom of your feet, God is healing. No more heal spurs. Your son's name is Matthew. You have never told me that. Somebody's coming out of 555. That's his address. Kilt Road. K-E-L. The Kilt Road. 555. Get ready. Never going to be the same again. I keep seeing a, a Tracy too. Not my name, but somebody else named Tracy. It has a T-R-A-C-Y. God's got a miracle too. Are you ready, darling? Just lift your arms. Now you can move your neck, move your shoulders however you want to. Move your arms up and down. I feel the anointing of miracles. 
God told me to tell you the storm is over. It's over. The storm is over, darling. Twelve weeks from today, you'll know that the God has moved and God has seen and God has heard. Hallelujah. Get ready. Why don't you stand? That's anointing a breakthrough. It's coming. Wow. You've been standing and believing God. You weather the, the winds that have howled at you like the violence of nightness. And you said, Lord, how long, how long shall this thing continue? And I not have the happiness and peace. And you've been standing, believing, quoting the scriptures, even writing down in that notebook that has green on the top of it. Is that right? I know it is, darling. You wrote down and you said, Lord, I believe you before the close of this year. Isn't that right? It just sent me all the way from Florida to tell you. It's coming to pass. Keep writing that notebook because it's a Nornic journal. Hey, in the name of Jesus. It's an honor to be able to speak into somebody's life and everything in their life changes by the utterance of the prophetic word. Because the prophetic creates an atmosphere that conduces the miracle. People have desperation. They believe in that. If you could just speak to their life and lay hands on them. They've got to grant a miracle. It's not by the hands of man that is meant. But they have faith to believe that if they can get there, that miracle is going to manifest. So be it unto you. The miracle now. Jesus, my name. There's a miracle happening right now. Right around the L5. And there's a degeneration of right around the hip area. And you've been having problems in your hip area. And God's going to heal you tonight. And God said to tell you. That that's a miracle manifesting through the L5. Even around the copper tunnel area of your hand, where it feels like there's arthritis have gone through it, I curse it to its roots in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody's coming out of 301. God bless you. Welcome back. I knew you were blessed by seeing the power of God move and demonstrate how the Holy Spirit began to move and call words of knowledge and prophecy out. And I want to encourage you. So many have uh, sent in their photos each week into the Coach Revival Global Studio here in New Bern, North Carolina. And we have partners around, around the world and ministry around the world. We have planted several different churches. And I know that all our churches, you're watching, you've been following the ministry. And we have a prayer wall with a world that the Lord spoke, told me to have into the studio. So, uh, Pastor Mike, myself, as God's prophets, and the family here can lay hands on a daily basis and believe God for people, miracles. So send in your photos of your loved ones, what you believe in God for them, because he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And this is twins, uh, two daughters, uh, Sophia and Serena, uh, and the mother, Angie, is believing for miracles. Oh, they're so adorable. They believe in God for miracles. You wouldn't think was anything was wrong with this child, but this child needs a miracle. But let me tell you something. We've seen God here heal children in this ministry and that is documented by doctors you, you'll be astonished at the miracles I mean miracles happen when you believe together Matthew 18 19 Amos 3 and 7 said how can two walk together said they and come into a spirit of agreement also to write me your letters uh, I read them every week here at the studio I take time out and read them lay hands on them and this one says um, brother Tracy 
we enjoyed your crusade. We went to your crusade there in Tennessee, and we were so blessed. Miracles, you called words of knowledge out, and I was healed instantly. We went back to the doctor, and my mother, you called my mother's name out. This is all for God's glory, not man. But her mother began to get in touch. She said, I continue watching you on Sid Roth and your uh, ministry there on YouTube at Kutch Revivals. Thank you so much. And just like these individuals here, I want to know how to pray with you and pray for you every single day. Our office is open Monday through Thursday. Our prayer warriors shall be here, including myself. You never know when I pick up the phone and personally talk to you and prophesy over you. I've been known to do that. Also, too, I have a special announcement before I pray with you. Let me give you a special announcement. Tonight, we're going to be live tonight. Uh, 7.30 p.m. The prayer lines will be open at 7 o'clock at Coach Revival Studio. So you're watching this broadcast. We're going to be live at CoachRevivals.org. You can go to CoachRevival.org. All the information above the screen. We're going to be live. I'll be coming on at 7.30. Prayer lines will be open at 7 o'clock. So you can call in your prayer requests as you're watching this broadcast. Also, do not forget, August the 20th, and 21st, I'll be live at the Christian Revival Global Studio in New Bern, North Carolina. So you do not want to miss that. Again, do not miss the live service. And let me pray with you now. Let me believe God for your miracle. Are you ready for your miracle? He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank you for joining this ministry. Thank you for partnering with us. Thank you for allowing us to come to your home. But now I want to pray with you and believe God for your miracle. You said, Prophet, I'm going through so much. You don't know what I'm going through. No, I may not unless the angel showed me or reveals it to me. But I know who a God who looks over the balcony's eternal glory. And he's ready to heal your broken heart. Put his nail scarred hands around your broken heart. Encourage you and let you know that you're not by yourself. You're not going under, but you're going over. Father, I prophesy victory. Everyone that's watching me now, I prophesy in this 30 days. Let it be a prophetic shift take place. Let me hear about testimonies, about what you're doing in their lives. I ask you to hear the prayers of that humble servant, Lord, and grant me miracles. I pray against sickness, diseases, COVID-19, cancer, AIDS, diabetes, sugar diabetes. I command them to be gone. I command pain. Somebody being healed in your leg right now, your left leg, around your kneecap area. There's deterioration around the kneecap area, knee, knee padding God's going to give you. Even around the L4, the L5, you just was in an accident. That's a, a burgundy vehicle that was involved with a, a light look like a greenish vehicle you were driving God's going to give you a miracle right now Melanie you're getting a miracle Elizabeth you're getting a miracle Sarah you're getting a miracle the attack is over somebody's coming out of uh, Linwood Drive and God is giving you a miracle right now 1013 Linwood Drive that's a Linwood Drive address I'm walking down the street called Linwood Drive God's giving you a miracle right now Get ready for your breakthrough. No distance in prayer. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers today. I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for watching the Prophetic Voice broadcast. This is Prophet Tracy Allen could remind you again, nothing's impossible with God. And let me say this in closing remarks. You don't got no troubles. All you need is faith in God. Until the next time. This is Prophet Tracy reminding you, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Most of all, Jesus loves you. God bless you.